It's so adorable. <laughs> You are blending in with the seat, actually. No, you you're actually not. can't see her. <laughs> no, you actually can't see her, but um, the seats are in desperate need of shampooing. They're gross. Um, but anyway, we are just about to head into town. We've got a million and one things to do. I want to pop to Holland and Barrett because the vitamins that I was talking about yesterday are currently on offer in Holland and Barrett but there's none mm. online, they're out of stock. So I'm gonna try my luck and see if they've got any in, what did you say? Slay. Slay, oh, everything's slay. slay. Um, I'm gonna try my luck, see if they've got any in Holland and Barrett. Vitamins. Yeah, vitamins. Um, some that are hopefully gonna help you go to sleep at night, Sienna. <laughs> Half past eight last night, um, Kev managed to get her to sleep. I went up to the gym and he um, laid in bed with her basically until she finally, finally gave in and went to sleep. I definitely um, did not. You were the one that couldn't get to sleep last night. You were. No, up. I just couldn't get to sleep. Yeah, she just couldn't get to sleep. So. Um, I was just up until like. It was quite I late, I think. I think it was I swear, quite late. No. I think it was like about 10 o'clock. I think I was dreaming or something, but I. Like, in my dream, I think it was a dream or not, I just saw, I was like, so basically I turned off my tablet and I saw one o'clock. One o'clock? In the morning? Yeah. No, you must have been dreaming that because you didn't have your tablet, or your tablet was out <laughs> of charge last night. Um, yeah, so, Holland and Barrett, I've actually sent my friend Claire a message saying where I'm going in town, because I know when I get into town I'm going to forget everything. I need to post, ah. Uh, I'm such an idiot. I need a post saying for Vinted. I've brought the postage label f with me. I'm going to go into the Poundland to buy some postage bags. I haven't got the item that I need to post. And the in-post thing is near the hospital and that's where we're heading later on today. Um, I'm going to run in the house and get what I need to be sending on Vinted. Oh, right. Yeah. Got the item I need to actually post. Oh. What an absolute idiot. Um, these are the shorts that I bought at the car boot sale for a pound and I sold them for six pounds. Happy days. Wow. So that's another job. Yes, Sienna. Funny faces on the vlog while you were, <laughs> were you? Well, I just walked in the house and the dog came slyly out of the kitchen. We put up a camera in the kitchen that can see the whole of the kitchen and the stairs because in all of the years we've had the dog, he is now 10. We've never had any problems with him when we go out and we leave him at home on his own. And just recently he started to empty the bin. It's just been a bit of a nightmare. And he's also howling and he never ever used to howl. So we've put up a camera so we can keep an eye on him and we can talk back through it. If like we can say like, you know, Charlie, behave yourself. But he's been a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, I've just run back in there and he's like slyly come out of the kitchen. So he's obviously planning his next attack on the bin, no doubt. Right, let's get into town. How cute are these for this one? That is cute. Oh, they are cute. They are very cute. <laughs> but we're in Poundland and they have got some of the really, really cute mugs. And I'm thinking I like mugs a little bit too much for somebody that doesn't drink hot drinks. But this pumpkin one, it says Hello Pumpkin. And they've got Hocus Pocus one. And this one, which has got like bat ears and bat wings, that is super cool. And then there's this one down here, the ghost one, which has got a lid. And um, <laughs> Sienna likes that one, the grumpy minion. But yeah, I feel like I could have a really lovely mug collection for someone that doesn't drink hot drinks. <laughs> Come on! Crazies! Reese wants to meet us. Where? In the new cafe. What? We get going to a cafe? Yes, because Reese wants to go and check out this new cafe. So there's a new cafe that's opened in town, just around here. And Reese has just texted me saying, I'm on my lunch, I want to check out the new cafe. Yeah. So looks like we're going to check out the new cafe. There's Reese. Look, Danny looks smart. New suit and tie off this job. Danny look cute. <laughs> Are you definitely going to eat a sausage roll? I well, I hope so. I hope so. What is this? Chorizo, mozzarella, and Cornish sea salt. Um, a sausage roll, please. What? That's what Reese is having. What? Um, a plain croissant. Yeah, just a plain croissant, please. Because you, you like it to be plain and boring, don't you? And can I get one of those um, donut things? <laughs> Thank you. You know it's the bear months when you go to Marks and Spencer's to look at what Halloween and Christmas foods they've got. 
Felicity's got, got yeah. Sienna's got chocolate coins because she really fancies some of those. And Felicity and me are gonna share some Halloween Percy pigs. We're just on our way back to the car. Um, because have one now and then tell you how they taste. Yeah, they're gonna give you the energy that you're gonna need to walk all the way to the paediatric ward. ward. My ward was at yeah. the end of the corridor. <laughs> She's dreading it because at the hospital, the children's wards, the paediatric wards, couldn't be further away. We're going this way, Sienna, um, from the car park. So we've got quite a walk when we um, get to the hospital. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to Can we have that one? Stuff or no, or you've just had cafe. <laughs> you've just had cafe, oh, haven't you? Your sausage roll was very nice though, wasn't it? And she almost ate all it of it. Tastes like a pencil. Tastes like a, a pencil. Yeah, the sweet pencil. Oh, <laughs> not not like a pencil you do your, your writing with, an actual sweet pencil. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, yum! That would be tasty. A sweet that tastes like pencil. Yum. Yes, Sienna. Um, can um. We get a drink from Morrison's. Yeah, we're going to grab a drink from Morrison's. One each. Yeah, because we got a long walk from the car park. I'm going to get, I'm going to get um a Dr Pepper or Pepsi. The if <laughs> I wonder if there's a Halloween display in the window. There is. There is. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at those. I see a stitch. I see a stitch. You can see a stitch. Mum. <laughs> Are you? It's open. It is open. You can have a look. Do not ask for anything. Oh, wow, look. That's one. Mr. Grinch. Oh, wow, look. Stitch. That's Rudy's dad. Oh, there it is. Look, there's, there's Bagpus, Mog, Grinch, Stitch, Gruffalo, Zog, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, where's the bunny? Sean the Sheep. Oh, they've moved them, let's see. The jelly cats aren't down here. Huh? They must have moved them inside. They must have put them upstairs. Hello, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bear. Why do all jelly cat teddies have to be so adorable? Look at this. The gingerbread house. Let's look at the tag. £45. What, what about the giant bunny? Let's look at that the is cat. a very cute bunny. Whoa, look, they've got bats down there, like skeleton bats. Look at that. Not that bad, £25. Not that bad, not bad, guys, £25. <laughs> oh, look at this. They've got a grumpy frog Christmas tree. Let me see how much this is. Oh, I think that should be Reese's next um, jelly cat. £25. Oh, they've got mummies. Like what, Halloween mummies? Mummy. Yes, let's see. That is a very old looking bear. Have you found the jelly cat bunnies yet? Whoa, wowzers. Have you found the jelly cat bunnies yet? Can we have someone? jelly cat bunnies. Not that we need any more jelly cat bunnies. No, We're all done in town. We didn't manage to get the vitamins in Holland and Barrett. Um, they said they just didn't stock them in the store. So I checked online again and still they don't have them. So I'm going to have to order them directly from the company and pay a little bit more. We've got just under an hour until we need to be in the hospital. So I'm going to quickly post this parcel. Annoyingly, the in post is outside the super, out in between two supermarkets. So I'm currently in Lidl Car Park and it's just over the road from me, but you can't park in either of the car parks unless you're going into the shop, but you can't get to the in post unless you park in one of these car parks. So I'm gonna run quickly into Lidl and get what we need for tea. It's Jamie's night to cook dinner tonight. I'm not sure how well that's gonna go. I don't know. I'm not it's sure. It's gonna end up tasting like the I think that you'll be off. really great, grateful that we went to that cafe with Reese. Yeah. Um, we said, oh, I don't think I'm at home for dinner. Funny that. But yeah, we're going to quickly pop this into the in-post and then head on over to the hospital. I just don't want to be parked at the hospital any longer than I need to because the cost of parking is absolutely extortionate. How much did you have to pay when I was in the ward? Lots. But um, if you park for more than an hour and you go up to two hours, it is £5.60. 
for two hours. It's ridiculous. We currently sat in the back of the car because I really need to sort my life out and clean this car out because it's a mess and every time we get it clean and tidy I say I'm going to be one of those people that has a clean car and then the kids come in with pencil cases um books blankets snacks I've got a bin bag, bag, bin bag here the animals in the front help me snacks spare clothes um what else have we got here all sorts of stuff oh we've got the smith's toy catalogue Gonna be wanting that when you want to write your Christmas list. Okay. And bit by bit, the car just gets filled up with stuff. And then and that to that good. stuff, they also add rubbish. So um, pick a mix. Book. There's actually some jelly beans left in there. Nobody wants to eat them. Another book. And my car just ends up like a landfill and every rubbish. single time. And I'm currently avoiding being in the kitchen because it is jamie's night to cook so i started this new Mommy, thing where we're going to have the teenagers cooking each teenager gonna have to cook every other week and tonight is jamie's turn and i haven't got the patience for it i'm not gonna lie i do not have the patience so i um took the girls up to the park after the hospital and picked kev up from work and left Kev with that job. I was like, you can teach Jamie how to cook. He's making, not that it entails a lot of cooking, but we are talking about Jamie. It's just um, gammon, egg, and chips. So we <laughs> That's got it. this, we can hear a lot of clattering. I'm just it's a lot of clattering, but you keep bashing into the seats and it's making the foam wobble. Yes, yeah, so If you pass, you pass me the rubbish and I'll put it in this bin bag, or you pop it straight in the bin bag. That's, that's a lot of rubbish. And he's not gone. And that's, and that's not even all of it, brilliant. Keep going, keep going. Oh, that bottle, we'll keep that. I had that for the gym last night, I'll refill that. Um, plastic bottles need to go in the recycling. Oh, a half-eaten pizza from the weekend. Lovely, delicious. What else we got? Some more rubbish. Happy days. A sock. A sock, standard. <laughs> but yeah, Jamie's in the house cooking the dinner. I'm going to attempt to get this car cleaned out. And yeah. It's another day. It's another Vlogtober day. Some rotten when slime. Some rotten slime. Brilliant. Where there's not a great deal going on. Um, Felicity's hospital appointment went really, really well. That was really positive. She's got a new... Is dinner ready? Yeah. Oh, now Kev's out to tell me I've, dinner's ready. And I'm not, even, need, I'm not even done cleaning the car. I'll be in in two minutes. Um, yes, probably need that, Sienna. Probably. I'm need my tea. And then I will come back to the car. And I will finish what I was saying, but I need to go and sample Jamie's cooking, but I don't know what I've done with my car keys, and I don't want to shut them in the car, and then the car locks, and the keys are locked in the car. I feel like I might just need to go to bed already today. remember where I got up to I think I was saying that I took Felicity to see the paediatrician and we have a new paediatrician because the one we saw back in May wasn't a full time member of staff at that hospital they call it something else don't they when you're doctors um, but he was he wasn't there forever whereas this lady is and she was lovely so it was nice to meet her and know that that is going to be her paediatrician moving forwards she was saying oh you saw such and such didn't you and I was thinking I have no idea I said I've seen that many doctors paediatricians orthopedic surgeons I don't know who I've seen anymore but she said that that's it now she is fully at that hospital so from now on we will see her and have any problems any questions then she's the port of call so that was really good she was super positive said that she thinks that felicity will fully recover she said lots of children with this condition i say lots of children there isn't lots of children with the condition because it's super rare in anybody but especially in children i think it only affects one child in every hundred thousand in the uk every year so not many at all um but she said she is confident that she will see felicity continue to make improvements and until she is fully better um it's so difficult because the question you want to ask because they say 
can I help with anything else? Is there any other questions? And obviously the question I want to ask is, when will she get better? When will all of this be over? And when will she be fully better? And no one can answer that question. And obviously that's what Felicity wants to know more than anything in the world. But she said that she thinks that her referral to the clinic in Bath um, hasn't gone anywhere because of Felicity's age, because on their website it says they only take them from nine and Felicity's not nine yet she's near she's nearly there she's nine in December so she said that they'll resend it in January but hopefully by that point she won't even need to go to Bath hopefully by that point she will be recovered um hopefully recovered fully or at least to a point where the end is in sight and we don't need to be worrying about going and staying um in this hospital and doing this three week residential, um, it's three weeks residential clinic where you have, the physiotherapist was telling me yesterday that there's five specialist, oh, it's Sienna. Um, there's five specialist members, oh, hey. five specialists in this hospital, all with different qualifications and professions and things that they're good at basically so she said it's a very very good place to send her if she needs to go but fingers crossed we won't get to that point all in all this week has been good out of the three appointments that she had she's had two of them because her optician's appointment was cancelled because the optometrist is that what they call them anyway they were sick so um i've got to rebook that so I'll, I'll do that for next week i think we've had enough go on this week so far and we are almost at the end of the week friday tomorrow and Kev is finally going to get some days off. He's worked after tomorrow. He will have worked for 11 days. He had one day off on his birthday. And previous to that, he worked, I think, 10 days. So it's going to be super nice for him to have three full days off. Um, and then we have something exciting happening. Next weekend, we are going on a little holiday. So we're off to another Haven Park, not one that I work at. So it'll be nice to go as a holiday maker to a Haven rather than um, going there to work. Um, but yeah, that's it for today, I think. Um, I don't know whether to just end the vlog here because I have nothing again like yesterday. I have nothing left to give. Um, I'm going to clean, finish cleaning this car. This is my problem, right? I say, I say this to Kev all the time, I get overwhelmed by the house, the car, um, because I can't just surface clean. I can't just have a tidy round. Whenever I start something, it's got to turn into a full on gut. So if I go, say I'm going to go and tidy my bedroom, for instance, I've got to lift up the bed, sort everything that's out that's underneath the bed, clean out all of the drawers, wipe everything, and and that is a big a big thing. So then I get overwhelmed, and then I avoid doing things because it all feels too much. And I'm doing that right now because I was meant to just come and remove the rubbish, give it a quick like tidy round, and I have you not got a wet bum? Oh, you sat on your car seat. I've been shampooing the blooming seats. I've um I've given it a go. I've just used some carpet shampoo and some elbow grease and just giving them a wipe over but the color of the cloth is disgusting so they need like actual shampooing with a machine to draw it all out um so really i need to like find a car valet car valeter and get it done properly but it's quite embarrassing it's quite embarrassing four years of um the kids you know muddy beach all of that the car has taken a battering i mean i'm not precious over it at all good job really um but right now all i can see is like um pain it's not i don't think it's paint it's something sticky that's got onto the seat and i can't get it off and, um, it's not paint and, um, you'll get wet if you sit on them they're soaked normally when we used to lift when i used to have the car seat well i do have but uh, we don't need use it. a booster seat now don't you um, every time we used to lift it up, we have McDonald's a lot. So we have McDonald's a lot. We so don't actually have McDonald's that often. Yeah. So but when you do have McDonald's, there are just a bunch of McDonald's chips going beside <laughs> my seat. There is, there is, <laughs> there is always. There, I actually heard a thing on the radio once about one in, you no, know, something. It was like a statistic 
it wasn't one in something it was basically like pretty much every single car's got something in it and they were like asking what do you think it is and people were saying like a hairband a pen and it actually turned out to be a mcdonald's chip every car has got a mcdonald's chip in it um, and that made me chuckle because our car certainly has a few stray mcdonald's chips hiding lurking under the seats and the fact that they still look like a mcdonald's chip however long they've been under there for is quite concerning <laughs> it's, no please don't find one I have just hoovered back there so you shouldn't be able to find one but yeah should we just wrap this up here because I'm gonna finish cleaning the car and then I'm gonna go in and get these ones ready for bed do some housework Kevin Reese have gone up to the gym and that's it that's it guys this is this is everyday life right now this is how boring it hey is guys night anyways if it's not my bedtime yet um, um it is soon your bedtime yeah but so yeah but so um, I'm probably just gonna go um a few laps up and down the road. Yeah, she's been riding a bike up and down the road, I'm haven't you? Go a few right, do a couple more because it's gonna start getting dark soon. Right, thank you for watching another super um standard boring day in my life. Um we will see you all again tomorrow, probably, for another super boring day in my life. <laughs> Whatever you're doing this evening, guys, have a lovely one and we will see you tomorrow.